nearly 5,900 uh, tickets for the, the game at Chelsea went in just over two days. What, what do you think of that, that response from Brentford fans to, to this game? Uh, I mean, it's a phenomenal response. It's uh, quicker than we imagined. I think when we played Chelsea a few seasons ago, it took us something like 11 days to, to sell the same number of tickets. Um, obviously, we're in the Championship now. We've got more season ticket holders. Uh, the demand, I guess, is greater. Um, or certainly, there is more season ticket holders. And uh, so, I mean, yeah, all I can do is thank the fans because one of the things we, you know, it, it does help when the fans buy their tickets quickly. We only have a, a relatively small ticket office team and a ticket office operation. So the fact that we've also got big games against Aston Villa and Brighton coming up very quickly, uh, you know, does does help us operationally to uh, to shift things along. So demand's been great, and I thank the fans for buying their tickets so quickly. In terms of the, the mechanics of the, of the selling process, what thoughts and processes went into the decisions around that? Okay, so, there's, so every time there's a game of this nature, um, myself and the ticketing team will have a chat and we'll take in various factors. And um, so, for instance, back in October, we played Queen's Park Rangers. Um, we spoke to the supporters group Bias and their suggestion was, given that that allocation was only around 3,000, they thought it was only fair if we went with one per season ticket holder. We looked at that and thought it was a fair assumption, and we did. Um, for whatever reason, Friday night TV, who knows, uh, but a lot of people thought we'd sell out, and in fact we didn't quite reach the 3,000 mark, and uh, we sent back a number of tickets to QPR, um, and that went through a process of season ticket holders, members, uh, general sale, and we still weren't able to sell out. With Chelsea, and that's the, 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 the positive thing about QPR is we didn't have to guarantee the sale of those tickets. With Chelsea, we were given three allocation um, op options, 1,500, which was sale or return, 3,000 guaranteed sale, or 6,000 guaranteed sale. I mean, very quickly, we made the decision that we thought we would need the, the biggest allocation, but it did mean that if for whatever reason we didn't sell out, that the club would have to make up the shortfall and would have to pay for any seats that we don't sell. So we took that into account. We took into account the fact that we only had nine working days and it had taken us 11 days previously. Um, we took into account uh, that uh, Chelsea is a double tiered away uh, stand where the, the uh, visiting supporters are housed, which means that in a single tier, like Fulham, if you do buy, if you if you go and your mate buys a, a ticket and he's not absolutely sitting beside you, there is a way fans work these things out. But you, at the very least, you can meet up behind the stand for a beer, for a drink, whatever. In a double-tiered stand like Chelsea, you're separated. You know the guys at the top have to stay in the top, the guys in below have to stay in below. And if we'd gone down the route of one ticket now and then allowing people to come back later and buy the extra ticket for people they wanted to take with them or for other season ticket holders that they wanted to sit beside, um, that's that's difficult to work in a double tier stand. So we took that into account as well. So those were those were the overriding overriding factors and we felt that with two tickets per season ticket holder, previous experience of the of the recent games at, at Craven Cottage at Loftus Road and the game at, at Chelsea back in 2013 show that most season ticket holders, the extra person they buy for is a Brentford fan, generally speaking, not always, not absolutely always, but generally speaking, they may well be a member, they may be another season ticket holder and it's just that, you know, you and I are season ticket holders, we want to sit together, you just get two tickets on yours, it means I don't buy my, I don't, I don't use my season ticket to purchase any um, tickets, so it's, um, I can understand the numbers, you know, the number of tickets available versus the number of season ticket holders we have, uh, but we also know from experience that not every season ticket holder will want to go to the game. They'll have reasons why they either can't go or will prefer to do other things. Um, so we made the decision for uh, to, to sell uh, to, for two per person, and that's it. Those were the, the general mechanics. I mean, it, it sounds very much there isn't a perfect way. To, to sell tickets for a game like this, there is always going to be a, a give and take in a way. Uh, it's 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 nigh on impossible to please everyone all the time. I mean, if we'd gone one per person, I still would have had people coming on to me saying they want to buy it for their mate who wants to sit beside them, who's a season ticket holder, and unless they do certain things, they can't guarantee it'd be sat beside them because the thing was going to be full. They couldn't guarantee it, and was there a way round it, and so forth. 
and so that we would have we would have had um, a bit of criticism with one per person, and we've had some criticism over two per person. So it's uh, it's just when you face when you face with the decision, you have to do what you think is right for both the club and the supporters. Trying to take in the sense of feeling that you get from um, uh, past game experience as well. So there's no there's no perfect solution. We just try and get it right most of the time. And I think invariably. You know, we got criticism at uh, Fulham, I think, a couple of years ago for going two per person, but we were able to uh, work that out. And, uh, you know, down to the good behaviour of our travelling fans, Fulham, who don't do it for every club, uh, allowed us to creep into their neutral zone, but there was no guarantee that was going to be the case. We got some criticism, but we worked out in the end, and it appeared to me that everybody who wanted to go was able to get their hands on a ticket. And in, in general, the, the ticket selling process is something that is is reviewed continually. It's you know, there will, could be amendments for for future bigger games depending on how how that game looks. Yeah, it's part it's part of the customer charter, which um, goes through uh, has input from Bees United and also input from from Bias. And the customer charter, I believe, says that it gives a, an order in the way we will sell tickets away from home and tickets at home, and and it gives the club the ability to make a decision on how many tickets per person it can sell and, and that's something that you know we run part we need to have the ability to make those commercial decisions and it's something that everyone signs up to. Come back to it. There's there's no there's no perfect solution to any of these issues unless you know Chelsea have been able to give us another three or four thousand tickets which clearly they can't do. They'll sell out. Uh, unfortunately we can't get our hands on an extra three or four hundred tickets to give us the actual fifteen percent because there's got to be a um, you've got to be a, a, a segregated area uh, between supporters, so that's where those tickets have uh, have gone to. Looking to the to the game itself, Ch Chelsea sold out this morning, so it's been a, a sellout at Stamford Bridge, a West London derby, fourth round of the FA Cup, ahead of visits from Aston Villa and Brighton to Griffin Park. It's a very exciting time around here. Yeah, I mean, if you you know, it's a shame we didn't pick up something against Newcastle as well. I thought we were well worth um, at least a point, and probably all three against Newcastle. To be fair, um, so it's a great time to be a supporter. It's a great time to work at the club, and uh, you know, uh, I think um, uh, okay, we, we we went over and over and beyond two or three years ago when we uh, we almost nicked the wind down at Griffin Park, and uh, and we were still nil nil at forty five minutes over at Stamford Bridge, and then. Eventually, their their class told. Um, we've obviously got a better squad now, having been promoted and kept adding to it. Uh, I think we're a dangerous side. The cup is being taken very seriously, as uh, the supporters would have seen from the team that Dean played against Eastley. And uh, I think it'd be a great great day out. A huge challenge for the players, great for the supporters. Um, but I think you find that we're not going there just to make up the numbers. I think we'll be very competitive and uh, and we'll give Chelsea a really good game.